This is question number 21 for the ACT math exam that we're going through, and even though we're only a third of the way through the test, they are giving us some trigs. So here we go. Given that the cosine of a equals 12 over 19, which of the following values could the tangent of a equal? All right, well, I'm going to start off by giving us a helpful acronym and mnemonic to help us in this problem, and that is SOKOTOA, right? This is an acronym that, and, and a little memory device, that stands for the following. The sine equals, or sine equals, the opposite over the adjacent. So opposite over adjacent. And you can see as I go through here, we're going to have the same kind of thing going on. So the cosine equals the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And the tangent equals the opposite over adjacent. Well, opposite, adjacent, hypotenuse of what? Well, let me draw a right triangle in here. And right triangles are what... Let me draw that a little bit better. Uh, right triangles are what trigonometry is all about, right? So when you have a right triangle, uh, and we're talking about the different sides, light and the angle we're talking about here is A. So when we're talking about angle A, let's think of ourselves as standing here, right? So you always think about the perspective of where you're looking from. So in this case we're looking from angle A. So we think of the adjacent side then therefore is right here. This is the adjacent side. And the opposite side is right here. Okay? And the hypotenuse is going to stay right here no matter where we're looking from. Now we could be over here, right? looking at, you know, looking from the perspective of another angle, in which case our opposite side would be here and our adjacent side would be over here, right? But in this case, we're looking at angle A, so I'll just take those things out, take the guy out, and we're looking from angle A. So they're saying that the cosine of angle A is 12 over 19. So that means that the adjacent side, the side adjacent to the, us as we look, is 12 and the hypotenuse is 19, right? So now they ask, what could the tangent be? Well, the tangent is the opposite side over the adjacent side, right? So the opposite side, we don't know, so let's just call that x. So let's say tangent equals x over, and we do know the height, uh, the adjacent, sorry, the adjacent side, which is 12, right? So we know that the tangent of A has to be something over 12. Well, that eliminates every single answer except for C, right? So they were pretty easy on us there. Now sometimes they'll have another answer. Uh, you know, if this, were, if this were a problem, let's say a little bit later in the test, like question 25 or 30, they might have an answer choice in addition to C. They might also have an answer choice, let's say B, was 19 over 12. Now, what's wrong with that? We have 12 on the bottom. Why couldn't the opposite side be 19? Well, the reason is because the hypotenuse of any right triangle has to be the longest side, so it couldn't be that. And sometimes they try other little tricks on you too. But that's the basic way to solve a problem when they ask you about the basics of trigonometry.